imagine you have an image which is in RGB format and what you would like to do is to convert into XYZ and once again when you have XYZ probably you will do some operations on it for example chromatic adaptation transform and then you would like to convert it into back into an another RGB color image so how can you do it luckily uh, Bruce Lindbloom.com uh, Bruce B R U C E Lindbloom L I N D B L W O, -O M uh, gives us all the matrices that are required to convert uh, RGB to XYZ and to convert it back so but remember in this conversion one information is very crucial that what is your reference white so in case of display model uh, people used to think about um, what is the reference white point of my display so that for example uh, if uh, imagine uh, let's let's talk about sorry let's talk about this second example if you are uh, using an apple display and it's an apple rgb color space um, then um, you should use d65 as white point that in that case from rgb to xyz you should use this matrix and to to come back to uh, xyz to rgb you should use, use this matrix it's actually just the inverse inversion of this matrix so you just need to remember this matrix and in in matlab or in other programming language you just can invert it so the, so that the same is true for for all other color spaces uh, for example, probably mm, uh, uh, best known color spaces are actually uh, people who work with videos uh, or images. Uh, sRGB is a very popular one, which is actually the same as uh, Rec 709 display. So, so you just can use this matrix. So for this uh, tutorial, we will use this matrix. Okay, so you will use this matrix. Okay. To convert from RGB to XYZ so let's do a very quick uh, tutorial so we have this matrix RGB to XYZ and we have a RGB color let's say 255 255 and 255 and we'd like to convert it into XYZ okay so we can call it test XYZ since it will be converted into XYZ um, and what we have to do is to multiply this matrix that we have and our RGB color. So let's multiply it. Okay, we have a result. Okay, yes, so I did it actually before, but just for once again. So 255, 255, and 255 has been when after conversion to XYZ, it's become 242, 255, and 220. 77 but notice that uh, it's the y value is not normalized in xyz color space the y value should be 100 so to normalize it we should divide all of the all of the xyz values uh, by the y coordinate okay so so our y value is this so we will divide everything and uh, then we will multiply all of them by 100 so duck and then by multiply by 100 i think it should all be all right okay yes it's all right now uh the xyz value is 95 100 or 100 so we can verify the same thing we can do it using um matlab's command actually so matlab has a command called mexiform and then apply c form so mexiform will convert srgb to xyz using adapted white point d65 this is very important because by default uh mexiform will consider d50 as a uh, white point so this is very very important so just let me show you uh, yeah this is the line so that what is doing this line is actually um preparation for srgb to xyz considering the white point at d65 which is the case for HTTV or sRGB color space uh, so let's try it let's see how what is this result okay so tuck. yeah so you see it's the same but of course uh, you have to multiply 100 to 
to get this value so it's um, pretty close to to what we have computed so if we just multiply answer multiply by 100 sorry uh, sum of the 100 yeah so it's the same as uh, test color okay it's the, it's the same so 95 yeah it's pretty close to how with the with our, our matrix computation so i think that's it you can now know how to convert xyz sorry rgb to xyz and of course the vice versa in case of when you have to convert back instead of multiplying this matrix you should convert uh, you should use like INV version like for example in, in, in this multiplication you should use like INV of the this and you should use this matrix when you convert back to RGB so thank you for listening